Hey everyone, welcome back to CL Tech. And as the title of this video suggests, you can use the Windows command prompt to find out what your Wi-Fi password is, and it's incredibly easy to do. Now, this isn't gonna be a guide on how to hack Wi-Fi passwords. It's only to tell you what your own Wi-Fi password is, or that of Wi-Fi networks that you've previously connected to are. So to do this, we're first gonna open up a command prompt. So we'll hit start, and we'll type in CMD, and we'll hit enter and that'll open up our command prompt here. And now we need to type in net sh and we can hit enter. And for those of you that haven't used this command before, net sh is simply short for network shell. And since Wi-Fi is a networking thing, we'll use net sh. Now, a quick home truthy, you can simply uh, exit this for the moment and you can simply type in net sh followed by the commands that you wanna use. But since I'm gonna be running a few quick commands within this shell, I'm choosing to type netsh to enter the shell and then any subsequent commands won't need to have netsh written at the start. So once we're into our network shell, we'll need to find out what Wi-Fi networks we have. So for that, we'll type in WLAN show profile and we'll hit enter and this will show us any Wi-Fi networks we have. And at this point, I only have the one here, which is Tmax Pro. And that's actually my iPhone. Now, because this PC that I'm on right now is actually a desktop and it connects via a hardwired Ethernet port, I'm not actually using Wi-Fi, but this command will, of course, show us any Wi-Fi networks that we are connected to right now or have connected to in the past. So what we're gonna do is we'll just hit the up arrow on our keyboard and we'll type in WLAN show profile, followed by the name of the network we wanna take a closer look at. So in this case, Tmax Pro. So if we highlight that and hit enter and then just right click, it's gonna paste that in for us. And by the way, if you do have uh, any SSIDs or rather the name of any Wi-Fi networks, if you like, if you have any that do have a space in it, then just enclose this command here in quotes and that will obviously account for that space. So because this one doesn't have obviously any spaces in it, we don't have to use the quote, so we just hit enter. And this is gonna show us a little bit more information. Let's just make this window a little bit bigger so we can see all the output here. So it's gonna show us a little bit more information about the network. So we can see here that we are uh, connected to it via our Wi-Fi 6 Intel network interface. We can see that it only has a single SSID. And under this security settings section, we're able to identify the authentication mode that we're using here. And oh, by the way, also note that this is a manual connection because I only hotspot this phone in an emergency. So my PC is just not gonna to connect to this network automatically. And we can see that if we go here to our system tray and we'll just click on our network interface, we can see that Tmax Pro here. Obviously it's currently broadcasting. So if we hit that, you can see we're not actually gonna connect automatically. So this is obviously just a manual thing. So back to our command prompt, we, if you look all the way through here, you still can't see the password and that's what you're here for, right? So that's because under this security settings section, we see this section at the bottom here that says security key and it lists it as present. Now that's actually not the password. It's just saying that there is a password here, but it doesn't tell us what it is. So we can fix that by rerunning our same command. I'm just gonna hit the up arrow on my keyboard, WLAN show profile followed by the name of the network and then we're just gonna type in key equals clear. Now this clear flag is just simply saying, show the output of our security key in clear text. So if we hit enter, now we're able to see the password for this Wi-Fi network listed down here under this key content field. So as you can see here, if you're logged on to a Wi-Fi network or you've previously authenticated with one, you can find out what the password is just in case you might have forgotten. Now, there's a lot of cool things you can do within this network shell in Windows, and this is obviously just one of them. So now that you have your password, you're able to connect to that wireless network again. Now, to exit this NetSH command and just return to a normal command window, if you like, you can just simply type in exit, and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel before you leave, 
and stay tuned for more videos. Hope you have a great day.